was asked by Brandy Schmidt to say a few words about her and her retirement. I just wanted uh, Brandy to know that she um, made me a much better teacher. Uh, once I started working with her, she cares about kids. She uh, always wants best for all of her students. Um, the best thing about Brandy is how much she cares about her family and her kids and her husband, and I hope she has an amazing retirement. Uh, she's just such a, a, a wonderful person, and um, it was really three or two or three of the best years that I um, have had at Kersey co-teaching with her. So congrats, Brandy. I hope uh, you and your family uh, enjoy your retirement and um, have a lot of fun. Thanks. Bye. I've been asked by Brandy to share something um, little for her retirement, and I'm honored to do that. Brandy, I've been blessed to have taught with great people over the years, and you are one of the best. Teaching with you was always fun and never felt like work. I'll never forget our first years of teaching together, 2010. We instantly bonded. I love the way you interacted with all kids. You knew when to scrap the lesson and just have fun. You knew when kids needed a hug and a shoulder to cry on. You also knew when I was stressed and just needed a McDonald's Coke. I'll also never forget all the laughs we shared from the stories about our own children to our classroom kids. You always knew how to keep a smile and laugh. Co-teaching with you meant we could take turns with our most difficult student. One of us could leave a few minutes early to get lunch at Halo Burger and we could look at houses online together when we probably should have been teaching more. Brandy, you're an amazing teacher and an even more amazing person. Throughout all of life's challenges, you have remained strong and faithful to your family, work, and friends. Your smile is contagious, and your friendship is something that I cherish dearly. I love you, friend, and congratulations on your retirement. You will be greatly missed by all, and I am so thankful that I get to continue our friendship outside of school. She was a student teacher and I was a first year teacher at Armstrong. Not long after, she was hired full time and we were teammates for a couple of years in cluster six. I remember all the fun we had. I would come up with these crazy ideas like how all 90 kids in the cluster were gonna make mini gingerbread houses and she would figure out what we needed to do and how. We sacrificed a lot of mixers that day. Lynn was always up for the crazy ideas, as long as she didn't have to think of them herself. We were the solid gold dancing chaperones. She was a dancing Christmas tree one year, and we even chaperoned several trips to Washington, D.C. together. And there's a lot of stories there. Lynn's an excellent math teacher. She has the ability to break math into simple, practical steps that make sense for kids. She has always been a teacher who believes strongly in fairness for everyone and advocates for students to be treated fairly. Over the years, I've heard several students comment that she was their favorite math teacher all the way through school. She's pretty relaxed, easygoing, and approachable in the classroom. She really strives for math to be relevant. In fact, she rarely uses a lesson as it is in the book. She rewrites them, which leads me to her binder problem. Lynn is one of the most organized people I know. She creates these lessons, prints them, uses them, then immediately tweaks them and stores them meticulously in a binder. There are many, many binders lining the cabinets in her classroom and office over at Armstrong, and all of these binders have been meticulously organized and kept up. Some textbook company, if she decides to sell, is going to have a built-in textbook, or some new teacher is going to be really lucky to inherit them. Lynn, you will be missed more than you know. On top of teaching, she has been a Kersley community member, sports mom, volunteer, chaperone, mentor, friend, and more. I can't imagine a Kersley without a Shannock in it. Lynn, I have one final binder for you, your retirement binder. As you can see, there's nothing in it. It's up to you to fill it with family, friends, and fun. I know you're going to be busy with Mike, Brendan, Emily, and Evan, and all of the adventures that await you. I wish you a wonderful and happy retirement. I'm going to miss you, my friend.
Cindy and I got off to an interesting start. We met on my first day of work and I was in suit coat and tie and within a first few minutes of the day, a uh, student had me in a chokehold using that tie and Sandra found a way to spring into action and get uh, get me get me free and make introductions and, and scold me for wearing a tie. Um, we shared a common bond. We had both come from the auto industry uh, and really led into education by the passion of working with you know, our most vulnerable kids. Um, Sandra kept me fed over the years with her delicious cooking. Um, you know, she was a very soft-spoken woman uh, with a huge heart um, and just watched her weed with that heart and, and passion and, and just tenaciously advocate for kids over the years, um, you know, through all sorts of obstacles. Uh, she communicated with families. She knew her families intimately. Um, maybe too intimately at times and, and uh, knew more things about them than, than maybe anybody cared to, but uh, that's what, what made Sandra so effective with students. Uh, she brought an unbelievable work ethic uh, to the job every single day. Um, you never had to worry about timelines and, and paperwork. Um, so just wish uh, Sandra a continued um, enjoyable retirement and, and hope that the only timeline she ever has to worry about is, is happy hour. Uh, we love you, Sandra. We miss you and uh, wish you well on continued retirement. Well, Scott Frey is retiring. Uh, for those of you that don't know Scott, he's primarily a social studies teacher at Armstrong Middle School. Uh, you can find him in his classroom any Tuesday through Thursday. Uh, delivering engaging instruction to, to his students. Um, I first met Scott uh, doing his thing as a DJ for a friend of mine's wedding. Um, little did I know that uh, that guy would, would be a guy that I would watch uh, DJ uh, countless middle school dances over the years, uh, entice even the most inhibited students to come out and, and join in the fun and, and have a, a full middle school experience. Um, Scott and I were drawn to each other uh, probably initially through sports and, and, and the outdoors and, and our love for Michigan. Um, but, uh, but Scott wore a lot of hats uh, at Armstrong throughout the years. He's been a teacher, a DJ, a uh, union rep, colleague, friend, um, and, and even at times dressed as George Washington as he'd annually uh, dress up to drive home a lesson to his students. Uh, through it all, uh, Scott had one thing that always shined through and, and that was, he was a coach. Um, coach Frey developed playbooks and, and classroom lesson plans that uh, were designed to lead students to a lifetime of success well beyond their days, you know, at Armstrong. Um, Scott's delivery may not check every box in the 5D plus, but uh, his philosophical approach to teaching was very, very simple. Build relationships and hold each other accountable. Uh, Coach Frey built lasting relationships on the courts, fields, classrooms. Uh, many of those students and, and players continue to be a part of his life, you know, still today. Um, I'll personally always be grateful for the private times that I was able to spend with Scott, uh, discussing students' needs, uh, game planning, laughing, um, a lot of great times over the years, and, and I'm going to really miss that. Um, goodbyes are, are always very hard. Uh, in this case, they'll be especially difficult for all the teachers at Armstrong Middle School that have stockpiled comp days and bought boats covering Scott's classroom this year. But uh, in all seriousness, Scott, you'll be missed. Armstrong will never, ever be the same. Um, we wish you good fishing and, and enjoyment on the island and anything else that uh, lies ahead for you. We love you, buddy. Bye. say about Linda Rademacher. I mean Fox. She'll always be Rademacher to me. One thing I will say is that you will always laugh when you're around Linda. I wasn't lucky enough to be able to teach in the same building as Linda, but I was lucky enough to be able to coach with her and certainly lucky enough to call her one of my dear friends. Oh, the stories I could tell about Linda, uh, but I will try and keep it PG. Linda and I coached volleyball together. One year, the varsity team made the state corner finals, so we decided we were gonna take a road trip over to the west side of the state and help out. 
Uh, we certainly laughed the entire drive over. Um, we needed to make a pit stop and there weren't many big towns on the way. So we ended up in this little town called Turkeyville to use a restroom. Well, if that's what you wanna call what that restroom was. Long story short, Linda somehow locked herself in the bathroom. Um, I wondered what was taking her so long. Uh, I guess she had to be there to realize how funny it was. Uh, those of you who know Linda well can imagine the look on her face and the horror of her coming out after uh, being released from, from the bathroom. Uh, if we weren't laughing before, we were definitely laughing about her getting stuck in a bathroom in Turkeyville. Uh, well, also while we were coaching together, I was the shortest coach there by about seven inches. Uh, one game, uh, all four coaches were lined up for the national anthem, uh, all of them well over six foot, and then me. So Linda pulled over a chair for me to stand on so I wouldn't feel so short around the rest of them. It's just another way Linda likes to help everybody out around her. Uh, if getting locked in the bathroom or getting thrown off a golf cart uh, while valet parking for prom, you can bet your stomach and your cheeks are gonna hurt from laughing so hard. Uh, although, Linda, I didn't teach with you, I am sure you brought the same joy and happiness to your students. Kersley has been lucky to have you. Um, I know that I am lucky to call you a friend and uh, enjoy your retirement. You deserve it. We're going to miss you. Love you. I'm honored and excited to be talking about the retirement of my dear friend, Linda Fox. Linda and I became friends in 2011 when she moved from Buffy to Armstrong. And we very quickly became besties. She is the most fun and the funniest person I know. Um, we got in some good trouble with each other at Armstrong, like the time that we were in the women's bathroom and noticed that the toilet seat was broken. So we took a picture of Linda pretending to fall in the toilet and then text it to our boss, Casey Killingbeck, who then told us to get it together and go back to the classroom. Um, Linda is always up for anything. She is one of the most fun people that I know. I love that you can call her at a moment's notice and drop an idea for something to do. And she always says, let's go, I'm ready. In terms of teaching, Linda is really somebody that was born to be a teacher. She is one of the kindest, most thoughtful, caring people that I know. She works so hard with kids, especially kids that are difficult, that are struggling readers. Linda always finds a way to connect with them. She's super, super creative in everything that she's brought into the classroom. And hundreds of Kersley kids are so much better just because they had Linda as a teacher. She will definitely leave a huge hole in our hearts when she leaves because she's been so good at what she's done for so long. I um, think that she is truly one of the most thoughtful people I've ever met. No matter what somebody needs, if they're happy, if they're sad, Linda is always there with a meal, a hug. If your kids are sick at five o'clock in the morning, not that I know from personal experience, Linda will rush to do lesson plans for you. She is happy to help you any way that she can because it's just the kind of person that she is. When her dear friend Leanne Mortella passed away at Armstrong, Leanne really loved reading more than anything. It was so important to her and she wanted to instill a love of reading in kids. So Linda took a whole summer painting bookshelves and creating a space for Leanne in the Armstrong Library. Um, it speaks to the type of person that Linda is, the size of the heart that she has, and Kersley schools will never be the same without her. I'm so happy for you, Linda. I love you so much. I wish you all the best. Good luck, congratulations, and your retirement. my honor to do this video for Bonnie Fleming, who has been so much more than just a timeout monitor here at Dowdle. She's been so many more things. She's been our Dowdle historian. She's been our chief decorator during our March's Reading Month time. And we'll never forget, Bonnie, the time that you made the hamster out of actual hair that you put up in the in the hallway. That will that will never uh, no, I will never be forgotten. But mostly, Bonnie, you've been a champion for children here at Dowdle and around the community. Now that you're retiring, you're going to be able to have a chance to work on your own kids that you have, your great grandbabies and the next generation in your own family, and continue to be a champion for children. We love you, and we're going to miss you greatly next year. Mm -hmm.